sorry for that momentary delay. Um, I'm going to introduce the players in this group, and then the composer himself will tell you about the music. I'm Sylvia Lindbaum, and as you know, president of Brooklyn Chamber Music, and I play here a lot. Layla Hamden is a freshman at Eastern Michigan in music education, and clarinet is her main instrument. And she's joined by her cousin, Mason Smith, who is the composer of this piece. Mason was born in Detroit, born and raised in Detroit, and went to college at Berkeley, and is now a graduate student at Stanford University in computer science. And he's going to tell you about how this piece came to be. Mason. Um, OK, so um, I'll just tell you a little bit about uh, sort of my approach to writing music. So. Um, um, basically, uh, when I write music, it's uh, typically uh, built out of uh, building blocks of um, repeated uh, rhythmic patterns. So um, I like to listen to a lot of pop music, a lot of African music, uh, a lot of old funk music, and this music is uh, you know heavily rhythmic and with multiple interlocking parts. That's what really turns me on is uh, just hearing you know the guitar and the horns and the bass, you know, all kind of coming together and the way it all fits together. This is just what I like musically. So um, when I started to write music about 10 years ago, um, at first I just made up rhythmic patterns just on the piano. Um, and I was studying Bach fugues at the time, so I learned how to like, you know, play like four voices at once with my hands. And I applied that technique to like playing all the different rhythmic parts and, uh, that, that I would hear in the pop music that I listened to. But for a long time I just composed these rhythmic patterns and I never did anything longer. This is actually the first classical piece that I've written that's longer than a minute and a half. Um, and uh, that's largely thanks to Layla. So at one point I said, oh, let's you know, it'd be fun to write a trio to play with my cousins, and, uh, and you know, I'll just, you know, I just came up with a little idea, and, uh, you know, I got stuck, and, uh, but Layla just kept on me, and so four months later, I finally finished it. Um, so anyway, it's built up out of these self-contained rhythmic parts. So, like, the whole thing, uh, the, the germ of it, uh, like, the first idea, it goes like... like the first idea that I came up with and then from there I thought of other ideas that might go with it and I just generated a bunch of these things that just loop around in a pattern right um, and uh, from these patterns I uh, built up the whole thing and try to build in you know contrast between them and like an overall dramatic arc and all the things that you find in a classical piece uh, but it's built out of these repetitive patterns um, and, um, you know, sometimes just layering things up, like I'll do, uh... You know, just adding more and more voices to get that pattern of uh, interlocking voices. Um, and um, that's, uh, that's basically how it was written, is uh, just taking these things and arranging them. Um, so it's four movements, um, there's an introduction, and uh, followed by a fast movement, uh, a slower movement, a fast movement, and a slow movement. Uh, the first movement is sonata allegro form, sonata allegro form, just to give your ears something to hang on to. Uh, the second and third movements are sort of rondo things. The fourth movement is binary form. And uh, that's about all I have to say, and we should start. <laughs> <laughs> 